In today's video, I just want to show you how to add a background image into your websites. Okay. In the example you can see on your screen at the moment, I've just got a background color, which is dark blue. That looks all well and good, but there are times when you might want to put a photo or an image of your choosing into the background of your web page, and it's quite easy to do. Just a couple of things you need to make sure of when you are getting a background image ready to put into your website. You need to make sure that it is high quality and it is fairly large in size so its dimensions need to be quite big and it should fill up a good chunk of your page because what HTML and CSS does is it will stretch your background image across the entire width of the page so you need to start with a fairly high quality image otherwise it's going to look very pixelated and quite blurry if you use a small image to begin with because it's just being stretched uh, way beyond its normal proportions and it's not going to look very professional Okay, so what I've done for our Caloundra web page today is gone online and I've just found this picture of Moffat Beach. Okay, so it's a fairly big picture to start with and it's fairly good quality and it takes up a good chunk of our page. Looks pretty nice. The other thing you should take note of is that your background shouldn't be too distracting. You don't want to take the attention away from the text written on your page. So I've got plenty of empty blue space at the top here which is going to appear in the background and that's not going to distract our users or viewers uh, from the text. Alright, so once you've found a picture you like, you should have it saved into your images folder. As you can see here, I've got my background image already saved in my images folder. And then you just have to open up your web page in brackets so we can code it in. Now I've got my HTML and my CSS document open. In fact, we don't even need the HTML document open because we're going to style up this background using CSS only. Okay. As you can see in my HTML, I've linked my HTML page to a style sheet. Okay, so I'll just pop on over to the style sheet, and this is where I need to style up this background. At the moment, as you can see here in the HTML tag, we've got a background set to dark blue. We can actually highlight that text and delete it. Oops, just delete it. There we go. So once that is deleted, what we're going to do instead is put in a picture. It's quite simple to do, we just need to write background dash image colon, put a space and write URL, and then inside brackets you just need to search for the images folder and then type in the name of your background. In my case it's called background.jpg. Then I'll put a semicolon to finish that line of code. Okay, so that simple one line of code there is going to put in a background image on your web page. If I save it and go and have a look at the preview box, you can see now our background has changed from dark blue, and we've now got that image of Moffat Beach in the background. It doesn't look quite right yet because it's begun or begun to tile itself. Okay, so it doesn't quite stretch the width of the page. So what it's done is started to repeat the background a second time on the right there. It's only just a little strip, but it doesn't look quite right. Down the bottom, the height of the picture isn't the same height as our web page, so again it started to repeat the background a second time. Okay, it does look a little bit ugly when it starts repeating itself, so what we can do is turn that off. So back in our CSS style sheet here, I'm just going to write background dash repeat and choose no repeat and save that. And what that's going to do is just make sure our background goes in once and that's it. Okay, so as I scroll down now you'll see at the bottom we've only got our background picture in once and then we've just got empty white space where those tiled backgrounds were before. You can see the same down the right hand side. There's a bit of a white strip running down the side of the page. So to fix this now and get rid of the white strips, it's just one more line of code. So back to your style sheet and we're just going to write background dash size and we're going to choose cover. Put a semicolon, save it. If we go and have another look, as you can see, the width of our page now is covered by the background, and as we scroll down, our photo fills the entire page. That looks pretty good. One last trick I want to show you, you can just leave it like that, but I do want to show you one more trick. Some websites you'll notice that you'll notice that um, the background when you scroll down it doesn't move, it just stays fixed in the one location. And we can do that quite easily with one final line of code. We just write background dash attachment and choose fixed and just put a semicolon. Now when you save that and preview it, you see that it still stretches the entire width of the page, but what happens when I scroll down, the background doesn't scroll with me, it just stays fixed. And I think that looks the best. So I'm going to stick with that. 
Okay, so that's how we put a background image into our website. Hopefully you've got something similar to what I have. Uh, it's fairly simple to do, so good luck with creating your own background images.